Hello and welcome to game 87 of CCC's bonus 3 event. I have some bad news for the Karakam players, including myself. There were 8 games in this tournament and 7 were won by white and there was only one draw. So this is not looking very promising for the future of the opening. And from these 8 games, after e4, c6, d4 and d5, Two of them, played between Turbofish and Lilenstein, continued with knight c3, and after pawn takes, knight takes and knight f6, went into the bronstein larsen variation, where white took the on f6, and after g takes on f6, played knight f3, and here black pinned this knight with g4, and both of these games were won by white. In the other six games, after d5, we have the advanced variation with e5, and now after bishop f5, we have the short variation with knight f3. Now in a couple of these games, the engines were actually forced into the short variation, but in others, like for example this one, played between Lila and Terminator, the book ended after bishop f5 and the engines actually chose to play the short variation by themselves. After bishop f5, White has a couple of variations in which it tries to win space and time on the king side by harassing this bishop on f5. For example, there's knight c3, the van der Veel attack, where white takes away the e4 square from that bishop and then after e6 attacks it with g4 and after bishop g6 attacks it even more with moves like knight d2, h4 and uh, knight f4. Or instead of knight c3, White can play first knight e2 and after e6 attack this bishop from g3 and after bishop g3 play h4 and again try to harass it even more with h5. Or instead of knight e2, white can start out with h4 and this even prevents e6 because uh, then uh, g4 traps the bishop after bishop e4 and uh, f3. And there are some other variations like knight d2 and now after e6 play knight b3 and white tries to prevent or at least delay the c5 break by black or if c5 happens then at least get the bishop pair by capturing on c5 with the knight. But the short variation is different because here after bishop f5 white plays knight f3 and he just leaves this bishop on f5 alone at least for now. And he tries to safeguard his king by castling short as soon as possible and develop the bishop to e2 instead of d3 and avoid the light square bishop exchange. After knight f3, terminator continued here with e6 and now we have bishop e2 and in this position black's most popular move is knight d7 or knight e7 but c5 is also common and in this game we have c5 and now we have castling, knight c6, c3, and now bishop g6. Terminator prefers to retreat this bishop to g6. In the other game, Lila preferred to play here bishop g4 with the idea of exchanging white's light squared bishop. In this one though, we had bishop g6, and now Lila played a3, trying to force the matters with b4 and try to clarify the structure in the center. Bishop g6 had also the idea to allow this knight to get to f5 but knight e7 right now doesn't work because then black loses the pawn on c5 so here terminator took first on d4 and after c takes on d4 played knight e7 and after knight c3 we have knight f5 and in this position there were a couple of games where white tried b4 but here lila played g4 which kind of forces the knight to h4 and here now after knight takes and queen takes, it looks like black is doing okay. However, now after f4, white is threatening to, to trap that bishop with f5. And this is pretty much forcing h5. And of course now f5 doesn't work because uh, h takes on g4 and black mates white here on h2. So instead of f5, of course, Lila chose to close down the h5 with g5. But this now looks very very interesting because this queen is now kind of short on squares. Can this queen be hunted down? Terminator now played here queen h3 with the idea of escaping with this queen via f5. 
and after king h1 he played queen f5 and after bishop e3 he had this chance of uh, coming with the queen to c2 and trying to exchange it but he played here bishop e7 instead and now after rook c1 queen c2 is not possible anymore terminator continued here with a6 and now we have rook f3 lila is trying to trap this queen on f5 with moves like bishop f2 to allow this rook to see the d3 square and then play bishop d3 force the queen to g4 and then trap it with h3 h4 being guarded by the bishop from f2 so this pretty much forced now h4 and uh, black can get counterplay with uh, bishop h5 for example if bishop f2 now then there's bishop h5 and after bishop d3 and queen g4 h3 now doesn't work because of course black takes this rook on f3 and wins so after h4 we had here rook f2 but this now continues the threats because this not only takes away the h5 square from that bishop but it's also threatening bishop g4 attacking this queen after something like bishop d4 bishop g4 could come and after queen d3 queen takes bishop takes rook d1 bishop c4 and now white gets in f5 and this is good because there's pressure or there will be pressure on f7 so in order to avoid an attack on on the queen with um, bishop g4 terminator continued here with queen h3 and he's now attacking this bishop on e3 so bishop g4 doesn't work however after bishop f3 bishop e8 and queen e2 now the queen guards both of these bishops and bishop g4 is again threatening to trap the queen so we have bishop f5 but now after rook g1 this queen's position is very shaky very claustrophobic but terminator is not scared at all and he just calmly played here bishop a5 calculating that moves like knight d1 bishop f2 and knight f2 don't work because of bishop b6 attacking this d4 square and threatening knight takes on d4 attacking the queen which stop rook f1 here but even if bishop b6 wouldn't work even after long castling and rook f1 even though knight f2 here is a big threat black has bishop e4 pinning this bishop on f3 and not allowing it to trap the queen and white has nothing better here than just to take this bishop and after pawn takes and knight f2 black now saves his queen with queen f3 check so seeing that trapping the black queen is not really possible here after bishop a5 lila went for another plan and played knight a4 she's going for the b7 pawn with knight c5 the game now continued with g6 and now after b4 and bishop back we have knight c5 and this pawn on b7 is very very hard to defend the main point here is that after b6 black loses by force because this knight on c6 is undefended and now white can play bishop g2 and after queen g4 take this pawn on d5 and now both the knight and the queen are attacked and after queen takes on e2 there's bishop takes knight with check and after king e7 the rook takes the queen and white wins instead of b6 defending this pawn with rook b8 also doesn't work because now white has b5 and after a takes on b5 there's bishop g2 forcing the queen to g4 not allowing it to attack on e3 and after queen g4 now there's queen takes on b5 and white is attacking this pawn on b7 that pawn will fall and then this knight on c6 is also in trouble so this is not really good for black so seeing that the pawn on b7 can't be defended really terminator played here bishop e7 and now before winning down this pawn on b7 lila went for a little queen harassment with bishop g2 and now after queen g4 bishop f3 queen back to h3 and now lila finally took on b7 the game continued with rook b8 and now after knight d6 check bishop takes pawn takes and rook b6 lila saw that she can win another pawn by force and with two pawns she would already have a decisive advantage so she went for an end game now with bishop g2 
and after queen g4 she took the queen bishop takes queen and now here's the point bishop takes on d5 making use of the fact that this bishop on g4 is hanging after e takes on d5 and rook takes on g4 white is two pawns up and is winning lila is threatening here to play f5 and defend this very important pawn on d6 with the bishop and also takes on g6 and activate the rooks king d7 here fails after f5 king takes f takes on g6 f takes on g6 and rook f6 check and white wins another pawn so after rook g4 we have here knight d8 and after f5 f4 again is a very big threat so the rook takes the pawn on d6 but now we have bishop f4 attacking the rook but instead of moving the rook from d6 terminator counterattacked with g takes on f5 however after the rook drops back to g1 f5 will fall cannot be defended the game continued with rook e6 and now we have bishop e5 and after castles we even have bishop f6 knight c6 terminator's idea is to attack this rook from e7 and also defend this pawn on d5 but now lila can force a rook exchange with rook e5 the rook is attacking this rook and the knight so the rook has to take and now after bishop takes on e5 there are no rooks harassing the king and lila can now activate it with king g2 terminator continued now with rook e8 and after king g2 king h7 and king h3 he attacked the bishop on e5 and he's threatening to win a pawn and rook e1 is not a good defense because this just drops the pawn on d4 the bishop is uh, pinned to the rook and uh, bishop f6 would allow rook e4 attacking and defending in the same time so after knight c6 lila played here rook f1 counter attacking on f7 but actually after knight takes pawn takes and rook takes taking on f7 wouldn't be good because after king g6 black draws the game this pawn on g5 will be lost and black is just equal so after rook takes on e5 lila preferred to take on h4 and now after king g7 defending the pawn we have king g4 d4 rook f3 rook e4 check king f5 and now rook e2 attacking the h pawn h4 rook h2 forces the king back to g4 terminator now played rook c2 with the idea of rook c3 when uh, lila can't exchange but lila just ignored that played h5 and after rook c3 now of course taking here doesn't work because then this pawn promotes but lila counterattacked this pawn now on on d4 and trying to save this pawn doesn't work because then lila has h6 check and after king g8 rook d4 going behind the pawn and if now terminator takes on a3 then there's rook d8 check and after rook f8 this pawn on f7 it falls it can be defended after king g6 there's rook g8 check and after king h7 rook g7 check and the pawn is still gone and after this the rook just simply goes behind the pawn and then this king goes to g6 and the rook mates on d8 so after rook c3 and rook f4 terminator just took on a3 lila played a6 king g8 and now she also took on d4 rook a1 rook d8 check king h7 rook f8 with the same idea of taking this pawn but now terminator can defend that pawn with rook f1 so lila goes back attacking the pawn on a6 and now we have rook b1 and now if they would just simply exchange these pawns then this would be again a draw because now after king f5 terminator would have rook b1 and checks from behind saving this pawn on f7 so instead of exchanging these pawns lila played here actually king f5 and now taking this pawn would fail because now there's rook f8 and nothing can save now the pawn after rook b7 there's king f6 and this pawn drops and then white just quite simply wins by pushing those pawns for example rook b6 king f7 and uh, g6 will come at some point so after king f5 terminator started to give checks immediately 
but still after king e5 rook e1 check king f6 rook f1 check and king e7 this king now hides on f8 and then black has both f7 and a6 attacked and he can defend both because f6 is guarded by the g5 pawn so here he played rook f4 but now he's losing the a6 pawn and rook f6 is coming and f7 will be also lost so here we have now rook takes on b4 king takes on f7 rook b8 king f6 rook f8 check king e5 rook e8 check rook e6 rook g8 king f5 and here black can prolong the game with rook f8 check and now after rook f6 play rook b8 and after rook f7 check king g8 g5 he can prolong it even more with rook b5 check and now the white king can hide on g5 behind the rook and after rook b7 white wins with h7 check king g7 rook f7 check rook takes pawn takes and now the king can take one of the pawns but the other one promotes however after rook g8 and uh, king f5 instead of rook f8 terminator preferred to commit harakiri and played here rook takes on g5 check king takes on g5 king h8 and now of course white can win easily with king g6 king g8 and rook e8 mate but after king h8 instead of king g6 lila played here h7 because nothing would make her happier than to promote that pawn to something more valuable and terminator allowed her he played here king g7 because now after lila promotes before going down he can capture more material and now they can be both very happy after king g6 king g8 lila finally made it with rook e8 so all in all a very nice game by lila who managed to arrest terminator's queen and eventually win with the extra two pawns please subscribe like and share and check out some of the other games thanks for watching and see you soon bye bye